Welcome to the interview session of our CIPA. Today is December 5th, 2012. I'm Xiang Fu, VSE student. Uh, and uh, today uh, it's our honor to invite Professor Kiaharu Aizawa uh, to share his experience with us. And uh, Professor Aizawa is, uh, is from the University of Tokyo. He is an expert in image uh, coding, uh, processing, and multimedia application. Welcome, Professor Aizawa. Thank you very much for inviting me to, to, for the interview. The first, could you please introduce your lab at University of Tokyo and uh, also uh, I learned that your recent research is about lifelong technology and food log. I got that and uh, also um, could you tell us how to extract useful information from the big data? Okay, so uh, let me uh, start with my lab. Now, we are interested in multimedia technology. Uh, we are interested in multimedia data acquisition, and processing, and analysis. And, uh, among the topics uh, we are working on, uh, live logging, which I will tell you later. Uh, we work on 3D imaging, we work on high dynamic imaging, and uh, manga uh, and comics uh, image processing. And uh, let me uh, describe more of our, our live logging uh, resources. Uh, live logging is a digitization of our daily life. Ideally, it captures what we experience in our daily life. It captures what we see, you know, what we are, and what we hear, those kind of our daily experiences. Analyzing the data, uh, hopefully, we find trends and diversity for the person, person's behavior in quantitative way, not in qualitative way. Uh, we think that we have two kinds of the live logging uh, researches. The one is the, the live log for genetic purposes, and the other is live log for specific purposes. Uh, the genetic purpose live log is such that a person wears many different kinds of sensors. For example, videos, and audios, and location sensors, and acceleration sensors, and many different kinds of sensors, and capture uh, as much as we can, and, uh, and uh, acquire the data as much as we can. And finally, then by analyzing the data, and, uh, we want to, f we, we will find what we need. That is a very optimistic approach. Uh, capture as much as one as we want. And finally, uh, we want to find. We will find something, something new, but something that we, what we what we need. And that is a sort of generic. Uh, I call it generic type of approach, generic purpose right along. The other the specific purpose of right along is more focused on a specific activity. Of our, of our life. For example, the specific purpose can be uh, exercise or, or eating or locations. Uh, and on, using only a limited part of our life, then we record our, our daily life. And although it is a specific purpose, that is very, very useful. For example, exercise, and measuring exercise of our daily life, and we can uh, uh, calibrate uh, the energy consumption of, of, of every day, and we can see that how we behave every day is uh, correctly measured by the exercise lifelong. The research field of lifelong started with the genetic purpose of lifelong, but recently, uh, I, I think that 
people are more focused on specific time. As a result, uh, a, a number of applications and, and services uh, are appearing uh, in, in the network so that, that we can measure, we can log our uh, exercise, and we can log our day food, we can log our uh, readings, many different activities that we can use, we can log. Uh, we are very much interested in the food, the eating, uh, because the food is 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 necessary part and indispensable for our daily life, and that is very much related to our uh, our health and awareness uh, and those things. And, uh, so that we have been working on the food long. Uh, we studied our lifelong research from the generic purpose ones, then, then since five years ago, about five years ago, uh, we, we started the food logging uh, the, the research. And now we have an open web system that the people can submit their the daily food, and the people can see their diary of their food. aware of what they, are, what they eat in their daily life. And, um, and for that, in, in order to use, uh, make full use of food one, uh, we are also developing uh, uh, image processing technologies to assess the content of the food. And, uh, and, and some so smartphone platform to uh, make the, uh, the food one easy. So that we are, and the food long is, our food long is now uh, becoming larger and larger. And, uh, and currently, more than 100,000 uh, people have you know, registered in the food long. Uh, so that, uh, we are uh, very much excited about this the food long uh, research. And, uh, that is really going on. Uh, and, and new things you know, will be uh, appear more and more. So that, uh, well, well, that is the status of the food <laughs> uh, Professor, uh, could you uh, provide some suggestions for uh, junior PhD students, like how to select their PhD uh, thesis topic or something? Yeah, it's, uh, it is really a difficult question. Uh, uh, now, I like uh, each graduate student, not only the uh, PhD student, but also the master students uh, should have, have uh, their own independent topic. At the beginning, we talk with the graduate students a lot. And it takes us uh, some time and uh, finally find a, a topic for them for, for that they can, they can devote their themselves. Topic is sometimes very much related to the ex our existing topics, but it, it's not a simple extension. Uh, they uh, they will work on a new part of the existing uh, problems. Or uh, it is often that students uh, have a, a quite very new topic. That it really depends on the PhD student or the master student to, to, to find a problem. We don't have a very systematic way because we are not a factory so that the topics should be very much tailored for, for, for each student. Yeah, we have something we want to do so that uh, sometimes we guide students to some directions. Finally, the students choose or uh, create a problem by, by 
for, for their own. And uh, um, also for one research topic, do you prefer individual work or team work? Uh, how did you do, assign the tasks? Oh, uh, I, 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 I like the individual work. <laughs> <laughs> Students have their own problem, although they are very much related sometimes. That the student, each student can work individually. In that sense, that I, I, I prefer individual work. But on the other hand, uh, some topics are related to each other. As a result, uh, if we work in, in team, um, for, for example, uh, some result of the students used by the other students. That has a sort of effect, good effect to drastically growing their, their own work. But, uh, but the, the answer is I, I prefer individual work. I like the teamwork too. <laughs> so the answer is yes and yes. <laughs> Thank you so much, um, Professor Izawa, to share his valuable experience with us. Thank you. Thank you very much.